Welcome to this training video on autism in the classroom. In this module, we will explore the essential topic of what is autism. Definition and Diagnosis Understanding autism is the first step in creating an inclusive and supportive classroom environment for all students. Let's begin by defining what autism is and how it is diagnosed. Autism Spectrum Disorder, or ASD, is a complex neurodevelopmental condition that affects individuals across a wide range of abilities, behaviors, and challenges. It is referred to as a spectrum because it manifests differently in each person. Some individuals with autism may have mild challenges, while others may have more severe impairments in social communication and behavior. Common characteristics of autism include social communication, challenges, repetitive behaviors, sensory sensitivities, and special interests. Let's look at these individually. Social communication challenges. Individuals with autism may struggle with verbal and nonverbal communication, such as making eye contact, understanding social cues, or engaging in reciprocal conversations. Repetitive behaviors. Many individuals with autism engage in repetitive behaviors or routines, such as hand flapping, rocking, or insisting on sameness. Sensory sensitivities. Sensory sensitivities are common, where individuals may be hypersensitive or hyposensitive to sensory stimuli, like light, sound, or touch. Hypersensitivity means being overstimulated by sensory stimuli, whereas hyposensitivity means a lack thereof. Special interests. Many people with autism have intense or even obsessive interests in specific topics or activities. Diagnosing autism. Diagnosing autism typically involves a comprehensive evaluation by healthcare professionals, often including developmental history, gathering information about the child's early development and milestone, observations, assessing child's behavior and interactions, standardized tests, using standardized tools and assessments designed to identify autism-related characteristics, collaboration, involving a team of professionals, such as psychologists, speech therapists, and pediatricians, to provide a holistic assessment. Diagnostic Criteria The Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, 5th edition or DSM-5, is commonly used by clinicians to diagnose autism. To receive an autism diagnosis according to the DSM-5, an individual must exhibit persistent deficits in two core areas, social communication and interaction impairments, and restricted, repetitive patterns of behavior, interests, or activities. It's important to note that autism is a spectrum, meaning it encompasses a wide range of abilities and challenges. The spectrum includes individuals with varying levels of support needs, from those who are highly independent to those who require more intensive support. The importance of early intervention. Early diagnosis and intervention are crucial for children with autism. The earlier the intervention, the more effective it can be in helping individuals with autism develop essential skills and adapt to their environment. In conclusion, Autism is a complex neurodevelopmental disorder that affects individuals differently, creating a unique spectrum of abilities and challenges. Diagnosis is a comprehensive process involving professionals from various fields. Recognizing and understanding autism is the first step in creating a supportive and inclusive classroom environment. Thank you for joining us in this module on what is autism. Stay tuned for our next module, where we will discuss the signs and behaviors in young learners.